everybody, it's Connie with SimplySimpleStamping.com. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to today's video. Hey, we've got a new One Sheet Wonder for you today. I know how much you guys love One Sheet Wonders. It's really nice to be able to create several cards with just one sheet of designer series paper or cardstock. Today it is designer series paper. We'll be using the In Colors designer series paper and Pineapple Punch. It's very bright and very fun. Hey, I do want to give you just a heads up before we get into the video. The stamp set that I use today is Friendly Expressions. And if you'll be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video, I will share some information on how I did a really fun technique where I cut up the sentiments. It gave me kind of like double duty with my stamp set, but I wanna make sure you get the opportunity to see that video and how I did that. Again, stay tuned till the end of the video. I will have that information, but I say we get started with our cards today. What do you think? Let's go. So I mentioned that Friendly Expressions is our focal stamp set for today. I love this one. I love these great big words. We're going to be using three of these today on our cards. It is a one sheet wonder today. I'm going to be using the 2018-2020 in colors. I've got a piece of pineapple punch designer series paper. You can see we have stripes on one side, polka dots on the other. I have three card bases in Coastal Cabana. This is cut eight inches, not eight and a half, but eight inches by five and a half inches. And I have scored it at four and a quarter inch. So that's going to leave us this little spot right here. Uh, the same measurement goes for all three pieces. I have a piece of Whisper White and Grapefruit Grove, and these are both cut three inches by eight and a half. This is going to be used for our sentiments and our two and a quarter inch circles. I also have three ribbon knots here, and that's just gonna kind of step up our card a notch. I think these are gonna look really, really nice. Let's go ahead and talk first about how you need to cut your designer series paper so that we can create the three cards. You can cut your paper with the stripes going vertical or horizontal, whichever makes you happy. I think I'm going to cut so that my, my stripes are going to be horizontal on my card. To do that, I want to start by cutting my paper so that you see I've got these vertical. I wanna start with half an inch, so that's half an inch by six. I'm going to go ahead and cut that down to five and a half so it'll fit on my card. I'm now going to cut the rest of my designer series paper. I'm checking to make sure I have it at six inches, and I do. Remember, we've cut half an inch off. So uh, I've got my stripes going horizontal. I want to cut two more pieces at half an inch. Now with my remaining, I need to cut these at one and five eighths. So that's that little line in between. Uh, that would be one and three quarters and one and a half. There's a little line right in between there. That's gonna give us three equal pieces. We're now going to go ahead and adhere these to the card. You can use the stripe side or you can use the polka dot side, whichever makes you happy, or mix and match. And same thing is going to go for these pieces as well. And remember, we do have one stripe that is going in an opposite direction, but it really can look really fun. So have some fun, let's mix and match, and we'll put all of these on our card bases. There we go, you see I did polka dots and polka dots, stripes and stripes, and then I decided to mix it up. I'm going to come in with the Whisper White and a Knight of Navy ink pad. Remember, all of these sentiments will work uh, with these cards, but I'm going to create a thanks. I'm going to take my two and a quarter inch circle punch and we're going to punch that out. I'm going to take Life is Tough. Let's put that here on the other side. We're going to punch the exact same way. And now the word happy. We'll go right there in the middle, and there we go. Those are done. We're now going to punch three circles, the same size, this is the two and a quarter, from the Grapefruit Grove. But I want you to stay down at the bottom because we're actually going to be using some of that. So you can see we want to leave that space there. So let me punch out two more. That's going to leave me plenty of room for my other sentiments. I'm going to come back in with my Knight of Navy and I'm going to stamp for all that you do. So this will be uh, thanks for all that you do. Life is tough, but so are you. 
and happy to know you. I always like to give you options. If you have the classic label punch, you can come in and punch these out with the classic label. If you don't have that one, we can just, let me cut this off so I have something a little easier to work with, but you could just fussy cut. This could also be done on your stamp and trimmer, but kind of just trim it out. That works too. All right, it's time to bring our cards in and I wanna show you, you really do have a lot of options with these. So we could put this on our card this way, thanks for all you do, or we could go vertical with it. So how about for this one, we go vertical. I'll put my grapefruit grove circle there. I'll adhere my thanks just off center. And I've put snail here on the back of my sentiment and that can go right there. Okay, that was a simple one. So for this one, let me put my circle there. I'm going to add Stampin' Dimensionals to my sentiment. I've got about three, that should be pretty good. Let's add our Life is Tough. And I think for our sentiment, we'll put it right here. So let's add a dimensional here on the end. And that's pretty little. I think it's gonna to have to be a mini dimensional. And then just some snail, because what we're gonna do is we'll take that backing off and this can sit right there. That's why we needed that dimensional because this is raised. We needed that to be balanced. All right, let's set that one off to the side. I'll do the dimensionals again. So there's my happy. And for this one, let's add three mini dimensionals and we'll add that sentiment right there. Now for those ribbons, let's see where we want to add these. You guys know I love my mini glue dots. I love to work with those. So you can see, you can just press the ribbon directly onto a glue dot and attach that to your card. For my thanks card, I think I'd like to put that right there at the end of my sentiment. And for life is tough, I think we'll go right there on the side. Now I think these look nice, but if you're one that you like to add that little extra, let's come in with some uh, adhesive backed rhinestones. I think these always make a card look great. And you can just kind of get creative. You could put it on the sentiment. We could add them right here to the bottom of the card and maybe three right there. This is just your opportunity to get creative. So let me show off those cards again. Very easy to do, one sheet of six by six designer series paper. There we go, another one sheet wonder ready to go. It's so much fun to be able to get three cards out of just one sheet of designer series paper. And I hope you enjoyed the cards. Now remember at the beginning, I did say any designer paper is going to work and that is so true. And you might wanna change these circles. They could be your stitch shape framelits or possibly your squares or your ovals. Have fun with what you use. I chose to use a punch, but the creativity is up to you. Now, if you wanna find out uh, the information about the free template that I told you about, you can find the template on how to do the cutting and I'll have the measurements too. You can find that at simplysimplestamping.com. Look for the February 7th, 2019 blog post. Just scroll down a little bit and you'll see, click here for a free download. Be sure to get that. It's gonna make your life much easier when you go to create. And if you'd like information about any of the products that I use, perhaps you wanna get that Friendly Expression stamp set, you can just click the pick. You're gonna see it there, you'll be able to click it. It'll take you right to my online store. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be so honored to be yours. So you can just order right there at simplysimplestamping.com. Now, I also told you, that there is a special video on how I cut my Friendly Expression stamp set. If you look right up there in the upper right hand corner, you're gonna see a link. You can click on that. It's gonna take you right over to that video. Uh, if you want more information on that, uh, you can also go to the February 5th, 2019 blog post at simplysimplestamping.com and I'll have it there for you. But hey, 
you're there, click that uh, little button right there. It'll take you over to the video so that you can learn how to create that. Guys, thank you so much for being here and be sure to take a minute to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you like today's video. If you like the One Sheet Wonders, yeah, definitely give me the thumbs up. Let me know you like those and you want more of them. Thank you again so much for being a part of today's video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.